Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, uh, everything goes up on our Patreon channel, and we do have unique videos also going up on Patreon uh, that are very, very um, interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Usually it's stuff that's that's too hot to, to risk putting up on YT. We do have um, Brightian and BitChute, and we also have Rumble. And, and one thing I will say about the Rumble channel is that it's a little bit more consistent, it seems, um, as far as the views there. So here we have a Polish member of parliament dis destroying uh, Ursula, and it, it was just great. It was just great. Let's just, uh, you, you know, I'll let you guys read unless you speak Polish because uh, she's speaking in Polish, but boy, it was uh, enjoyable. That was fun, wasn't it? Well, she certainly had purpose. She did, yeah. And Ursula was just sitting there smirking, and and uh, you know the lady that's mitigating everything. There, she's uh, uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. But you know, it makes me think again. This is Polish member of parliament. Makes me think of the Clear Seeing Channel, which does an English translation um, for the Polish psychic Christoph. And he was remote viewing four years from now, 2028. Um, and he said that the whole globalist agenda is in uh, just shambles. It just total shambles. It doesn't exist anymore. It's a thing of the past. However, you know, he did also see on the timeline he was viewing that there was a war that had happened but not as extensive as perhaps what many people are fearing you saw only certain european countries involved uh, and you know not again uh, a total ww3 you know nightmare uh but he did see that things had happened and that the war was that kind of like a stalemate some sort of pause um, but still felt that there was also in some places a, uh, a martial law type uh, scenario still playing out because of it. Mm. <clears throat> well, you know what keeps sticking out to me is that she she voiced this and it needed to happen for, for many, many, many other women's. And the quote right there, it says, you're responsible for every rape, every assault, every tragedy caused by the influx of illegal immigrants. Somebody needs to be held accountable because that's happening everywhere. I mean, it's pretty much swept under the carpet, swept under the rug in so many ways. But there's there's so many victims because of this. And yes, somebody does need to be held accountable, even if it's only in the public eye. Fine. Um, do I do I think something is really going to happen? I don't know. I, I've seen people 
go off in in these tangents over and over and over again, but nothing really happens. Um, but I will take what I can get in this case. It's it's a uh, it's it's a horrible thing that's going on. Well, Ten to fifteen years is what you were getting. Yeah. You know this 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 is what Cindy got from the guides is that the transition away from this system. Uh, you know, being in in really total power because they pretty much have been, is is a, a long term uh, event. It's that will take you know not just the rest of the twenty twenties, but into the twenty thirties towards twenty forty, before the system is no longer uh, in control the way it has been. But I think we are seeing the first big cracks coming through. And what they will try to do is, as what they always do, is they'll throw one group under the bus, allow them to be uh, dragged in the mud and whatever, but then they'll also try to be offering up the alternative at the same time. So this is what we always have to watch for. So as you see, it's amazing. This is Jake Shields. He was um, a former UFC fighter. It's amazing how how lucky one group keeps getting. They bet against the Dow Jones on 9-10-2001. They bet against the Israeli Stock Exchange October 6, 2023. Now they short Trump the day before uh, the attempt. And this is from uh, the founder of Brightian. Uh, this is the health ranger there. The Austin private wealth company that reportedly shorted 12 million shares of you know Donald Trump's uh, <clears throat> monetary endeavor there with a filing date of July 12th made a huge huge bet that Trump's business value would plummet guess who the company donates to here here is a list as you can see uh, this is where some of the donations uh, have gone and when we look at rumble uh, you know this group also Austin private wealth 34 million shares of Rumble. Who is this group? You know, again, you, we, you might think this, and this is a great illustration how how everything gets controlled because, you know, Rumble might start as a private platform trying to push freedom of speech, but how does this group, Austin Private Wealth LLC, end up owning so much a, a Rumble? Well, again, you know, companies grow, they have their offerings, the public can buy in, but, you know, the average person in the public doesn't have the money to control things and control narratives. Even if somebody is relatively well off by today's standards, you know, how many people can play with 34 million shares of something, you know, going around $7 a share? Not too many. <laughs> That's the... That's the reality of it. So, you know, when you look into this, uh, that's very suspicious, obviously. You know, we all know uh, all the quote unquote rumors uh, about, you know, 9 11 and, and who was there, who wasn't there. Well, you know, again, when you look into this, you know, Austin Private Wealth Group, it's very telling. So, you know, they shorted Trump's stock. They shorted Rumble. Now, Rumble, freedom of speech, and Rumble came into its uh, glory, let's just say. It's still coming into its quote-unquote glory. It's it's still not doing the type of numbers that YouTube does. Um, but it has really solidified itself as an alternative platform. And maybe it's the main alternative platform. I don't know at this point in time. Um, we are not economics people. And in fact, you know, I, I really think I could have done extremely well if I wanted to, but I have such a dis distaste for the system. I've purposely always stayed away from uh, things like stocks and, and all because I really don't want to see this system exist. I would love to see true freedom and equality. We're like in last night when we we're talking about the fact that you literally have kids that are just ecstatic to get one drop of water in Gaza. This is a real screwed up world in which, you know, little kids can't even have basic necessities and, and have to go through the horrors of what Israel's doing over in Gaza. And yeah, they'll use any sort of, uh, any sort of event to justify themselves and as we know that whole term that was not well known 
uh, maybe a decade ago, uh, false flag or the whole concept of creating event in order to bring about a desired result that you want to see. Uh, we understand that events get manufactured in this day and age, but not just in this day and age. We could look historically, go all the way back, and we could talk about things like the sinking of the Titanic with the banking cabal um, people on, on board that were against uh, founding um, the Federal Reserve, for instance. It, you know, This is exactly the type of thing that goes on all the time. So the reality is, as that member of parliament was talking about how Ursula really should be let off in chains. Absolutely. Uh, th certainly she should. These people obviously have, have shown their hands, but again, it could be part of the bigger plan to go ahead and throw a lot of what used to be very useful slaves to the system even though they're part of the system's aristocracy they're still slaves and maybe it's time that they're going to be thrown under the bus too uh, because ultimately they're not even they're not even middle management they're they're lower level management at best and again pawns are always sacrificed even you'll sacrifice sometimes you know everything up to the queen right so not only did austin private wealth short 12 million shares of trump's dj uh, t stock b before the event they also shorted 34 million shares of rumble same time in addition to a connection to the bush family through james a baker you remember james a baker part of Again, uh, the brain trust there. The largest stakeholders in Austin Private Wealth LLC are George Soros, Vanguard, and BlackRock. There you go. You know, yet again, you know, how they, they need to... The only way we're going to get out of the system is, is to dissolve the system. And when you're playing Monopoly, a crooked Monopoly game, and you're expecting yourself to be able to play fairly, but yet, you know, the one controlling the money is just creating whatever they need out of the thin air. They know the events before it transpires. Uh, this is exactly how they are always consolidating their power. Oh, what happened here? This is weird. Okay, it's, it was just rumble stock, just um, showing where it was at today in this particular... Um, blurb here so rumble stock soars 21 percent and so this is having a site this is having a huge psychological effect but what we have to remember too is what history shows us and it shows us that you know we the pendulum always swings it's always swinging so again you go from globalism to nationalism and then when you have the periods of nationalism a lot of times that's when the big conflicts come mm. You know, this is another thing for me that that's, it's just difficult for me to to grasp and understand and and even comment on because I'm just not in that I'm not in that bracket of understanding. But I I think it's definitely something to pay attention to and watch and see what happens moving forward. This article was on RT and it talks of a clash of the most powerful women and who are they? You know, they're talking about in Europe. Uh, well, it's Ursula that they're talking about there, the, uh, the president of the European Union, and Georgia Maloney, who represents nationalism. Um, again, we saw the ties that Georgia Maloney had uh, to, again, the same old uh, cabal uh, power structure. You know, she actually you know, had her own page at that, you know, <laughs> organization, et cetera, et cetera. Now, did she say the right things uh, when the plague upon the land and all the lockdowns were happening? Absolutely. So, you know, again, uh, is this infiltration in some ways? Um, yeah, let's hope it's infiltration of a positive kind. Yet at the same time, be aware uh, that when they support sending money to Ukraine, when they support sending money to Israel, uh, they're they're supporting murder and they're supporting uh again the darkness that is the military industrial complex and when you look to eisenhower as he was in 
his latter days, you know, all he was speaking so much about how this is really an evil thing. And in fact, I was reading last night a speech of Eisenhower's where he was saying for every single war plane that gets put up in the air, you know, we, we, we could have spent that, uh, you know, to feed thousands and thousands of people for like an entire year. It, it, again, it, it's it's a machine that what it does is it creates an aristocracy. And so, you know, it doesn't matter whether we have a communist system, a democratic system, a republic, a socialist. These are all their terms. And, and these are terms they, they use to create division. The reality is the, the true elites here... The humans that have sold out humans, you know, they they all get wealthy and they all live the luxurious lives. Meanwhile, they know they're literally walking on on the heads of everybody that they're supposedly serving, and they enjoy it. Absolutely. So, yeah, von der Leyen uh, needs 361 votes of the 720 member European Parliament, so she needs to have just one more, you know, then. She needs to have a, the smallest of majorities. Now, Maloney controls 78 votes, according to uh, this article, and, you know, she could tip the scales. So, you know, a positive sign would be seeing uh, no more of Ursula, <laughs> but it's going to take a lot more. It's going to take some time. There's cracks. There's obvious cracks. You know, nobody... In our circles, let's say, you know, those that watch channels like this really believes in what they say about the climate. And in fact, again, there's so many contrasting studies that have gone on that, that show, you know, it, it's truly an illusion. You could look at photos of Ellis Island and see, you know, positioning again hasn't changed. The water hasn't really rose. And we're... It's risen in some areas. It's done just the opposite in others. Italy has banned ground-mounted solar panels on farmland to protect their food sovereignty. So again, you could take that out as a big, a big plus. <clears throat> as as long as we're still utilizing the major points of their control system, we won't have freedom. But again, we'll take the little victories as much as possible. And again, this is tying back to Georgia Maloney again. So watch her, you know, it, she's been one that it feels like uh, <clears throat> will be in a position of ever increasing uh, significance and influence. Pr as France is preparing for the Olympics in the global spotlight, now they're trying to sweep away all the homelessness and all the migrants camped everywhere, um, you know, where do they really want people to go? You know, this, this is the thing. I, I think really when you look at the agendas and you look at what the results are, it, the, the, the real fact is they just don't want people here. You know, it's like they, they just want enough of a servant class to keep things running, and enough of an energy, research, uh, energy resource and labor force to keep things going, as, you know, again, uh, that WEF advisor, Yaval, has said, what do we need so many useless eaters for? We don't need that. We can automate. And they are automating. And as I mentioned yesterday in the second video, it was curious that both Home Depot and Lowe's all of a sudden um, bumped out my, my logins and wanted facial recognition or thumbprint they're they're moving forward with this and we need to push back against this now they could create big big craziness they could create what looks like revolutions in in you know some of the most powerful countries on the planet and then because of the craziness they'll say we need to go forward with more surveillance cameras we need to have more automation we need to have, you know, CBDC uh, as our f official um, m money. And we need to, again, watch things ever more closely, uh, again, to protect uh, you is what they'll say. But it's really protecting them. And I got to wonder, are these medieval <laughs> depictions... Uh, I mean, are they talking about the political situation? Are they saying don't trust any of the politicians because they're just blowing it out of their butts? I don't know. There's a lot of pictures of it. There's a lot of depictions. There's a lot of different 
kinds of scenarios of trumpets being blown out the butt of not just people, but animals too. I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. Trumpets out the butt. I, I mean, but, but it, what is up with this? This is just bizarre. There's so much weird weirdness on this world when when we, we got this from nasa right oh look a massive iceberg broke free oh it just happened to have perfect 90 degree angles like somebody cut it with a laser in order to you know break it free and prove a point and push an agenda i mean seriously nature doesn't work like that i know somebody was having fun with lasers they must have been practicing or something i don't know and then we have this here we have uh aliens have finally been pulled over and are being held responsible for their actions live long and prosper nano nano is fun it is fun and you know again the whole not understanding that some creatures are here in bodies in which they can't utilize tools they can't make microphones uh, they can't, you know, again, communicate like we can. That doesn't make them inferior. In fact, spiritually, they may be superior. Uh, I would venture to guess that they are in, in some cases, like with dolphins again. Uh, you know, dolphins are in these bodies, perhaps, because they don't want to go down the route of technology, and they want to have a more simple natural experience and you know they show that they are great healers they are great healers they are very very uh, empathetic they, there's been so many times when people have been saved by dolphins against various things you know, from shark attacks to you know falling overboard and uh, I've had I've been blessed with having dolphins swim by me uh, in the Gulf numerous times, and you can feel their energy and their frequency. They're very, very intelligent. In fact, again, the, the brains, uh, if you look at it to a, a human brain, is pretty comparable. But I, I think on the spiritual side of things, they're more evolved than most humans, unfortunately, in this planet. They, they really are. They have a frequency about them. And the, the the noise, the sound, the sounds are very, very healing. And I think that's why many of us are really big into sound healing because we understand what it can do. Vibrational medicine is uh, such an amazing thing. Yeah, when you understand that the heated arguments that we see uh, are often just an illusion, you know, it's just doing their job. And, you know, in reality, when we see uh, after the fact, the way that um, Big Mike will love on uh, Bush Jr. And, you know, their connections, they're smiling, they're laughing. You know, the former presidents that used to say such horrible things about each other, they're like old buddies because they've always been on the same side. It's all been an illusion. It's all been a show. I know. It's just sometimes we have to recognize it so we don't contribute to the illusion. No, absolutely. And at the same time, is it truly going to be Ill infiltrated from the inside? Is it truly? Uh, is there any that you have actual trust in? Uh, you know, again, um, feel free to share your opinion. opinion and, you know, because we, we all have different views on this. And that is exactly how the real God, the real source of all, intended it. Because, you know, <laughs> we're all fractals of source, but each one of us is a unique fractal. And that is a huge, huge, beautiful blessing as we all have our own uh, view on things. Indeed. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.